Hi guys, so in this video I've got something quite exciting. I've done a collaboration with Nail Addiction and these are the nails that she has created. We both decided to do Minnie Mouse themed nails. Um, so to watch her, just pop, pop over to her channel. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box below along with any discount codes and links to products that I have used and my social media links will be there too and so I'm just coming in with this milky white I actually mixed this one myself just with white and clear because um, I didn't want it to be like a strong strong white so I'm just going to let you watch Now I'm just coming in with black tie from Nail Visions. Like I say, I will leave everything in the description box anyway. Um, but on this nail, I'm just doing like a little cutout design. I do faff a lot when I'm doing these. I need to just like do it and leave it instead of messing. But yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm coming in with that shocking also from nail visions beautiful bright magenta pink it's beautiful I'm just doing a full nail of that now I did forget to record the index thing well I didn't forget I did record it but it was out of shot so I've left it out because there's just no point um but I did record capping it when I noticed that it was out of shot and I did record a little bit of filing in this one which I don't usually do and you'll see why because the camera's bouncing all over the show but I thought I'd best leave something else a little extra in for you because I forgot that first nail and all it is is a full colour of that shocking again and then just like a little S type with the glitter um, the glitter I used is Bubble Yum from Sparkle Supplies UK. I will leave links below along with discount codes. So, oh, the brush I'm using is my CJP Big Boy. So now I'm just coming in with my hand file and just refining that shape for the cutout design so that you get those crisp, sharp lines. Um, if you don't do this, you'll end up with wobbly lines and it won't look as geometric as it should 
if that even makes sense. So I'm just coming in with that milky white that I made myself again. I'm just doing like a V shape with that. Um, as you can see, I do work quite messy when I'm doing these. I try to keep it neat, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. And when I do the other side, my camera's like right in the way. So you'll see anyway what I mean. I end up hitting it. That's why it's balancing. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'll just do my best to get the general shape with my brush and then leave that to set and then I'll go in with my hand file. I've tried to leave it all in for you guys. So I'm just going to let you watch. on this foam I'm coming in with that milky white again I'm just gonna um, place my bead pull it down and then feather it back a bit so that it creates a blend so when I put the next color down it's not a harsh line if that makes sense and just add a bit more where I think that I need to just coming in with that glitter bubble yum again and all I do is pick up a small bead of clear acrylic and then just dip straight into that raw glitter and then just place it on the nail mix it a little bit and pull it down and but I only pull like the tip of it down if that makes sense so I'm not pulling the whole product down the nail otherwise it would just cover it and I'm just going in with another bead of that. As I said, I did forget to record this index finger, so I am just showing you me capping. So I'll just go in with a wetter than usual bead when it's over glitter, just so we don't get no dry patches or air bubbles and stuff. coming in with my hand file again and refining that shape of that V like I say I do just try my best to get it as even as I can on both sides and as you can see I've gone over the other colour a little bit with the white I've gone over the black but not to worry you'll see in a minute that when you file it all off it reveals those nice crisp lines so as long as you're not doing it while the acrylic's still wet then it won't marble, it'll be fine, you can just file it off. Now that I've filed all that, I'm just coming in with That's Shocking again on the tip and taking it right up the sides there you must make sure that you get right up the sides because 
if you don't you'll just have gaps and bits missing so yeah again I go over the white with the pink but like I say once you file it it will reveal those nice crisp lines and I have left that in four years today I'm trying my best with my camera angles and I know I've missed out the index finger because I was out of shot but I have tried my best so I will keep trying if anyone's got any tips please do let me know because my filming I'm just using one of those um, lazy arms to hold my phone so if anyone's got any other ideas I've tried a, I've tried a tripod I can't say that three times when you're drunk I've tried a tripod, but it my phone just makes it fall over. Like, yeah, my phone's too heavy, I think. So I'm just going in now and filing. I leave a couple of filings in just to show you guys my filing routine. So I'll just do side walls, side walls, flat file the free edge to get that nice crisp shape go around the cuticle and then down the barrel of the nail and just keep checking from all angles that your apex is in the right place and your nails a nice slender shape shot a little bit here but I am just e-filing and you'll see what I do on the rest of the nails anyway I'm just coming in with my medium carbide bit and just going around the cuticle and down the barrel of the nail just to make sure it's got that nice shape and the cuticles are flush sorry I kept going out of shot guys I am trying As you see, I do use a safety bit so not to cut my clients. Although this is the flexi hand, I still use my safety bit. I don't want to shred her up to pieces. <laughs> so yeah, I mainly just remove the bulk from the cuticle with this because I never want to cut my client with my hand file or... Yeah. So that is what I do. Now for the best bit, revealing those sharp lines. So as you can see, I just literally go over with my e-file until the lines are revealed. just come in with my hand file and refine the shape of this little finger because it's the only one that I didn't file earlier so and get all those scratches out as best I can I'm just coming in with my CJP tack free top gloss. I love this top coat. It's very thin, but it goes a long way and it stays shiny for till my client next comes in for a redesign or yeah, it just it stays shiny forever. <laughs>
second attempt at a mini mouse 3d so as you can see i place that bead down a little bit too dry so i just dipped my brush in the monomer and just added a little bit of liquid to feed that bead a bit so that it was more pliable moldable so just wait for it to go matte and then press and pat it where you want it so i just wanted it to be like a little circle so that's what I did and then I do the same for the ears but obviously with smaller beads so I'll just let you watch just coming in with some black canny gel paint I think it's canny I think that's how you say it um, it was just from eBay it was like 199 I've not got a link for it from where I purchased it from but it was just from eBay so if you search it I'm sure you'll find it so I'm just doing that with a dotting tool all over this nail for Minnie Mouse's little spot coming in with that's shocking and creating Minnie Mouse's little bow So this is the finished result and thank you all for watching. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to check out Nail Addiction. I've added photos of her beautiful work again at the end here and I will add links in the description box to her channel so please go check her out. Thank you. Bye.